On this episode of the Ultimate Dry Age Project, we're gonna do a 15-day Koji rubbed Chairman's Reserve whole ribeye. First, we're gonna give it a beautiful crosshatch cut. Then we're gonna rub a Shio Koji paste on the top side, and then wait two days and coat the bottom side. The Shio Koji is great for dry aging because it speeds up the aging process while giving a huge umami boost and tenderizing the meat. In a restaurant setting, this is great because it greatly speeds up the dry aging time and also improves the quality and texture of the meat. This way we don't have to tie up our cabinets for 30 to 45 days. We can actually speed up the process to 15 to 20 days. As our whole ribeye ages, what we're looking for is a contraction of the proteins, but without any discoloration. The beauty of these dry aging cabinets is that it retains the moisture without any damaging mold growth on the outside. This is the cut after 15 days in the dry ager. I would not recommend going over 30 because with a koji rub, it'll get rather dry. At Heritage Restaurant Caviar Bar, we utilize the whole ribeye to create bone-in chops. We also take ribs off to be saved later for appetizer use and then be able to custom cut a ribeye roast and then individual steaks after that. We take some of the beef trimmings, we render that down to roast the ribeye itself. Pan finished with a little bit of butter. So after it's rested, we're gonna carve it by trimming out some of the interior fat by isolating the spinalis muscle and then slicing the heart of the ribeye. Tyson Chairman's Reserve whole ribeye is absolutely perfect for dry aging because there's a lot of beautiful intramuscular fat the meat is incredibly high quality and it'll stand up well to aging the dry aging cabinet.